Howdy, partner. <laughs> That's the greeting for this vlog. My good old Hattie partner. Oh, good God. Okay, so this is the Game of Thrones vlog. Rant. Rant vlog. Yes, um, so basically I will be ranting and raving about um, Game of Thrones, but um, only difference is, is I'm not gonna, I'm gonna try and not give stuff away because it only has had one season, whereas True Blood has had a good four, so um, I wasn't really giving anything away with True, Bo True Blood, but I know that people might not have had a chance to start Game of Thrones yet, so I don't want to like get things away um, because I hate when people do that. Um, but basically, Clay got me onto Game of Thrones, and after I was finished with True Blood, and, um, I really appreciate it because it was a very great procrastination, um, tool, and, um, no, I really like the show a lot. Um, I often really do like, um, shows or, or movies that are set... Um, like, before there were cars, for example, um, or just, like, uh, like, old school settings, I just, I appreciate, I'm going to turn this way so I can set my computer down, okay, yeah, so I just, like, I don't know, appreciate old school, um, filming, <laughs> I don't know, um, yeah, mostly because they don't have cars, so their mode of transportation is usually a horse. <clears throat> and I'm slightly obsessed with the animal. Um, yes, like I, like legitimately, this is what I sleep with. Um, <laughs> yeah, um, but I don't know, I like it, but I like this show so much because there, there's like an element of, it's obviously fiction, and, but the, there's like it's done in such a way that you know you almost feel like that it, it could be real like like that could have happened kind of in a you know I, you know um so yeah and the, the credits are so awesome the I love when like rolling in credits are are like interesting and you know like if you're loading it and you can't like skip ahead or also like freeze it uh, oh so I have to watch mine on the internet because I don't have like cable or anything um so yeah so like I watch it on the internet and I usually just let the credits play because it helps like load it or whatever and uh also the internet here in Australia is not so hot so you have to like baby it um like for example I've already done this vlog twice but the internet uh, hasn't agreed with me and has deleted it twice so this is the third time <laughs> Um, yeah, yeah. Um, so anyway, it's just, um, I don't know, it's a really good story. They, um, they storyline, um, you can, you get connected to some of the characters pretty easily and, um, kind of like, I don't want to say like create a relationship, but like, it's easy to feel for them, um, and easy to be mad at, you know, the people you're supposed to be mad at and freaked out by, whoever you're supposed to be freaked out by, and, um, yeah, um, there's a lot of, by a lot of, I mean, more than I like, animal violence, I don't mind violence against human, against human, but I really don't like when <laughs> humans just slaughter animals, I just, um, I mean, like, for, no, like, I'm not a vegetarian or anything, but, like, I love me a good steak, but if you're just going to be mean to an animal for no good reason and inhumanely mean to an animal, I just, I'm not a fan. Like, I'm just not a fan. Um, so there is a little bit of that, um, which shocked me and, you know, I just really wasn't okay with, but I mean, again, the, the obviously the animals aren't really getting hurt, um, obviously because then they'd have, like, a huge lawsuit, but, um, yeah, and I, that was just, like, hard, I've, I don't know, but it got me, like, emotionally involved with the show, like, I was really upset that, you know, that those animals had, had to die, like, a couple, like, a horse and a, a dog and stuff, um, and, yeah, 
like, even, like, the dogs in the show, they're, like, wolves, I guess, but they really just look like huskies. Um, they have their own characters, and, um, they don't, like, talk or anything, but, you know, they have their personalities, and, um, they, they do add something to, sh to the show, because each of the kids in this one family gets a, um, a wolf pup and, like, raises them and stuff like that. Um, but, yeah, and I like how there, there are, like, different sections, like, the north and the south and the, and one area and the other areas. And it's freezing. <laughs> okay, it was, like, frozen for a second. Um, yeah, just all these areas. I don't know all the names, because... I didn't, I didn't memorize them, but, um, yeah, and I like how they kind of, like, start out as different areas that don't really have any connection, and then they kind of, like, form a connection as, you know, the season goes on, and I'm sure as the next season comes, there's going to be even more of a connection, and we'll see more interplay with the different areas, and, um, yeah, just very strong characters, um, they, they killed off so many ca characters, um, like I said, it's, it's violent, and it, it's adventurous, and, you know, it's, like, everything you want a show to be, it, it's got, like, romance, kinda, not, like, not, like, really cheesy romance, it's just got, like, that, like, nice, kind of, like, subtle romance, I guess, um, so there's love, there's, uh, heartbreak, there's, um, what do you call it, violence, <laughs> excuse me, <laughs> there's sex, good sex scenes, um, not, like, awkwardly long, just, like, you know, it's HBO, you know, um, yeah, it's, like, just a really well-rounded show, and, um, there's growth, there's character growth, um, but I was honestly really surprised at the, the number of characters that they killed off in the first season, I was, like, really, you, you didn't think that you needed that character for a little longer, or, you know, what, what's your plan? Like, I, I'm a very, um, realistic thinker about things, so I, whenever someone dies in a show, I think, well, what, was their contract really that short, or did they really not like that actor, or, so, yeah, I guess I always do that, but, um, yeah, I don't know, like, there are certain characters that, um, and I'm not gonna name them, because, um, a lot of, a few of them died later on in the season, so I don't want to, like, ruin it for anybody, but a few of the characters I was definitely questioning, like, why the heck did they kill them? Like, what was the point in that? So, um, yeah, I really suggest watching Game of Thrones. It's just so interesting, and the stories behind it, and, you know, like, the supernatural, like, the white wings, is that what they're called, I think? Um, the scary things beyond the wall, <laughs> like, that is really cool, and, and then the whole, like, dragon thing that they've got going on, and the dragons being gone, and, you know, like, I don't know, like, it, I mean, you'll see, you have to watch it, like, I just love all of that, and it's so cool to be, like, you know, kind of escape the world now, and be able to watch a show, and have yourself kind of escape, and be able to kind of go into another world and be like a part of another world. If you're able to do that with shows, which which I admittedly am, I can kind of like shut off the world around me and just kind of watch a show like Game of Thrones and like get fully involved and be like, <sighs> like literally my facial expressions when I'm watching it are like, I react to everything and it's like it's real life for like a yeah, an hour and then, you know, show's over and I'm like, okay, back to the real world. Like, so, I think, I think that it does a good job in doing that, and I think, um, you know, I definitely will go into detail if, about the show, maybe, like, later, like, maybe in the second season, I will start talking about, <laughs> about this first season, but I really don't want to ruin it for anyone. Um, yeah, but it's a really good show, and I, I really, really like it, and Clay, Thanks so much for getting me on to it. It was a great procrastination tool, um, which is probably bad, <laughs> but it really got me through some times when I should have been writing those papers. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, I, I'm trying to think of anything else that I could, like, say about it. Oh, there's a little bit of incest, and that's a little creepy. Oh, yeah, and that one kid, this kid who's, like, six or seven at least, like, is still breastfeeding on his mom. That's weird. That was weird. That creeps me out. I'm just gonna tell y'all that. That happened. And they showed it. Like, the kid was on her boob, and I was just like, yeah. Not okay. You can't. You can't be like seven and nomming on your mom's boob. Mom, why the hell are you letting the seven-year-old child suck on your boob? Like that's that's wrong. That's weird. He's gonna have like some. He's gonna have like a strange Oedipus complex. But his his dad's gone. So like he's just you know like he doesn't even have any competition. Home dog's just gonna want to marry his mom and like. Screw his mom when he grows up. It's just weird. I mean, it's weird. Weird. Gross. That really freaked me out. Really not okay with... And I want to know, in real life, did Home Dog really have to, like, suck on Homegirl's tit? Like, was that real? Like, wouldn't that be, like, traumatizing? I think that'd be traumatizing to have to, like seven-year-old boy and like think girls have cooties and have to suck on a woman's boob that's fucked up and i mean ducked up i totally said ducked anyway this rant has gone on for 12 minutes i and i clay i just want to say i found myself some baby hoops at a piercing store and see they're tiny 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 and they have no clasps and they're forever loops or whatever Surgical stainless steel, twelve dollar, brother. Ain't gonna find that at Nordstrom's, are you? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Shaniqua up in this house. Mm-hmm. Anyway, oh, that reminds me. Uh, Dragon Girl, Home Girl. I, her character um, development through the first season was amazing. Um, I love how she started out as like a shy girl and ended the season as a strong female um you know just really shows her growth and that really made me happy um yeah you'll have to watch to see her growth it's it, no it's really just awesome so um yeah she just kind of kicks ass and she's like you know what i'm strong and i could be strong and i don't need men in my life yeah i love this man that i'm married to but brother you need to stop pushing me around and by brother i really mean her brother and she's oh homegirl just grows and I am full advocate of being a strong woman because homegirl said you can follow me or you can leave me but if you leave me you're gonna die basically man she's awesome I don't know any of their names and I know that's horrible but they got really weird names and I just can't remember all that stuff when I'm supposed to be doing school so you know mm -hmm. okay well this has gone <laughs> long enough if you want more, comment, and I will try to be a little more detailed without giving stuff away. And if you don't care if I give stuff away, then I'll give stuff away. Um, hmm. Yes, I guess it's it. Hmm. Yes. Hope you fully enjoyed my rant on Game of Thrones and my mini rant on my earrings. <laughs> Alright, we'll check you later. Peace.